Hey, Facebook attorney Tim Anderson, uh, January 10th, 2020. So uh, a few things have happened today that uh, are interesting uh, to, to what's happened in Richmond. Uh, first off, uh, there's been some bills that have been killed. Uh, the only firearms bill that has been killed is the one that was withdrawn by the Republican delegate uh, who said that you had to demonstrate um, proficiency to be able to purchase a firearm. Uh, the other bills that have been killed are in different categories, and I'll show you how to see those in just a second. Um, I'm going to flip the screen around so that you can uh, see my computer screen. All right. So that... All right. So this website, lis.virginia.gov, uh, shows you uh, all of the ways, everything that's going on uh, in Richmond. Now, here's in an interesting thing that I want to show you, which is right here. If you search the pending registration, uh, the, the pending resolutions and bills, there are uh, 118 different bills that have the word firearms in there. And there are 1,104 references contained in those bills. Now, not every one of those bills is um, a criminal bill. You know, there's some in here that deal with like the state firearm for Virginia. But you can see all of those right there uh, at the lis.virginia.gov page. So you can go here and you can kind of scroll through all these bills. And then like if you want to look here at 964, it deals with firearm restoration uh, by convicted felons. Um, you know, there's, you know, you can click on that and see the bill and see what it's about. Now, um, when you want to find out where the dead bills are, you come back over here to this screen, you go to Bills and Resolutions. Sorry, go here. All right, you go to this Bills and Resolutions right here, and see where it says Passed by the House and Passed by the Senate, okay? You can click this link, and uh, you can see here's everything that was passed by the House. Nothing really major so far. This is just um, the uh, basic parliamentary bills that go into effect. We can look at the Senate. And, you know, so a couple little uh, joint resolutions and things like that. Nothing major has happened uh, in the Senate side as of yet. And then uh, we look here at the failed, okay? And here's the failed bills, and these are the failed bills. Unfortunately, old House Bill 740 for having closed captioning in movie theaters failed. That's a major issue, right? Anyway, uh, these are the bills. This House Bill 192, this is the one that was withdrawn. All right, the rest of them here are uh, what is been failed. And then the pending ones are pretty much everything that's left, which is thousands and thousands and thousands of bills. Okay, I'm not even going to go through them all. There's a lot. Okay. So that's how you can get an update as to what is going on. Uh, down here on governor's recommendations, there's been no recommendations by the governor on any of the bills as of right now. You will start seeing those um, moving through, and he'll be making recommendations and so forth. Now, the conference, all bills go um, into some kind of a committee, and uh, those uh, pretty much everything that's in the pending category uh, has been referred uh, to some type of a committee for review. So that's how this uh, screen works, and you can do all this on your own by just going to this website right here at lis.virginia.gov to be able to take a look of as what's going on and keep a uh, update. More bills are being filed. I mean, it's impossible to keep up and probably not even practical at this point to keep talking about them. So what I'm going to be focusing now more on is uh, how the existing bills are moving through the system. So far today, nothing major, uh, and I'll certainly update you if that changes. So that is um, how that works. I hope that's very helpful, and uh, I'll update you at 4.30 with questions uh, today by the viewers. That's the only other video I probably intend to make. 4.30 today. If you have questions, you email them in. Tara's going to compilate them, and we'll uh, talk for about five minutes about the most popular questions of the day. All right.